Alan Osawegi of Marshall High School has thrown for almost 500 yards and seven touchdowns with only two interceptions. The Buffaloes are three and two on the year and are looking to start off district play with a win. Terrell Clement is having a much tougher time this year as the quarterback for the Cougars of Kempner High School. He's thrown for less than 200 yards and four touchdowns with two picks. Kempner is two and four overall and zero and one in district play. In a competitive district like 23-5A, the Cougars can't afford to fall behind because this district is talent packed. For Marshall, this win is a must. They have Hightower and Elkins left to play, and those games are going to be a challenge. And here come the Marshall Buffalo. The Buffaloes test Kempner's front line, a five-yard gain up the middle by John Gibson. Ozenwege starts to play in the shotgun. No rush by the Cougars. Pump fake, he lets it go. The catch is made, and the ball is now on the two-yard line. Nice catch by John Gibson. From there, it's just a matter of getting behind the big guys and moving the pile. Touchdown, Marshall. The extra point is good, and Marshall gets on the board first, seven to nothing. Kempner has to respond, but this Marshall defense can fly to the ball as fast as any team in the district. Marshall gets the ball back, but only to go three and out. They have to punt from their own five-yard line. Kempner gets the ball in great field position. No. The Cougars are able to pick up a first down and keep the drive alive. Clement with the keeper, down the sideline, 39 yards later, he goes into the end zone, touchdown Cougars. The point after is no good, and the Buffaloes lead 7-6. Five minutes left in the first half. Kempner is now up 13-7 and looking for more. Clement tries the keeper. But Ryan Flanagan rips the ball and takes it the other way. 52 yards later, touchdown Buffaloes. Just like that, Marshall's up 14-13 after a successful extra point kick. The Cougars are just looking to get into halftime and regroup. But Edgar Guzman can't handle the snap and goes down in his own end zone. Safety. The two points goes to Marshall and they get the ball back. They're now up 17 to 12. Just in case he had done enough tonight, Ryan Flanagan is also crowned homecoming king. Busy night for number 25. The second half is underway and the Cougars have to get something going fast. Clement calls his own number and takes it right at the Buffalo's defense. A pickup of 20 plus given more for an unsportsmanlike call. Devron Williams from four yards. Touchdown Cougars. The point after is no good and the Cougars lead 19 to 16 in the third. Inside of four minutes of play, the Buffaloes are down by three. Inside handoff to Waller who picks up eight. Then Gibson takes a direct snap, gets the first down, and keeps the drive alive. Ozumwege showing his fancy footwork and moving the ball closer to the end zone. With less than three and a half to play, Ozumwege lets it fly. He connects with Gibson again, putting the ball on the one yard line. An outstanding throw and even better catch. Ozenwege rolls right and finds, who else? The homecoming king himself in the back of the end zone. Flanagan with the game-saving touchdown grab. Kempner still has a shot, only down by three, with plenty of time left on the clock to move the ball into scoring position. But this is Ryan Flanagan's night. He makes a big hit behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. It's homecoming for the Buffaloes, and the defense is fired up. 
Another loss of yardage for the Cougars. Clement finished the night with only 27 yards passing and no touchdowns, one interception. His very last pass. The Buffaloes take it away to save the win. Final score 19 to 23. Buffaloes win. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPress.com. I'm Raf Nickerson.